in this channel the most vehicles you have the brick the up, yeah. yeah so a lot of people don't realize that they don't see that here we like to go the extra mile you know we're not the average 99 dollar tent shop you know because we do use you know other methods and, and i'm a bit of an extremist when it comes to window tent yeah. you know what i mean like and, and my craft perfect. yeah i try at my hardest every time to get it 100 percent perfect I'm man, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I, I, I can't do it, you know, but I will try with everything that I have in my soul to accomplish that, you know? Uh -huh. um, some of the ceramics that we have here, this is gonna be our, our 70%, it's our skylight window film. Uh -huh. It's our ceramic prestige. And you can see it's, it's clear as day. Wow. We do a ton of windshields wow. in this film here. A lot of people cannot even tell that your windshield's tinted this film yeah we do we see it all day long so that's gonna be your 70% this is a 45% this is my personal favorite mm -hmm. I, I do all my windshields in this shade here um, that's just me you know this is a little too light for me this is like having a pair of sunglasses without actually having them on it reduces the glare about by 50% which is something that I love where this one kind of reduces it from about 20 to 30 percent in glare. Okay. then we start getting into our 35% medium and this here this is our lenient shade so this is what these 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 three here are going to be all of our lenient shades and these are what I recommend okay. you know as far as you know I'm not saying that you're not going to get pulled over because it, it definitely can be that you might get pulled over but it's hey you know what your percentage is a lot lower of getting pulled over you know using one of these shades versus some of the other ones that I'm going right. to show you so this is the 35% medium. I, I strongly advise a lot of people to use this on the two front windows, uh -huh. either the 20, I mean the 35 or the 50. Um, and that's just because the 70 tends to be too light. Mm -hmm. Your, your uh, glass that's on the vehicle is manufactured at 70% already. Mm -hmm. So you're just adding another 70, mm -hmm. which makes it maybe around about 60 to 65% on okay. the glass, okay? okay? Then we're gonna get into this shade here. This is our 20% dark. This is going to be similar to what you see on SUVs. So the back section of the SUVs, uh -huh. you see this shade here. Okay. It's 20% dark here. Okay. All right. So this is kind of similar to factory. A lot of people ask me, hey, what can you get that's you know very similar to what makes on the factory? Yeah. This is going to be the shade here all day long. Okay. Um, give me one second. I'm going to grab my step stool because it's a little high. But you know, I wasn't blessed with uh, with being tall. <laughs> you know, so. And I'm gonna hop up here, and this is gonna be your limousine. This is my personal favorite. Um, it's the best of both worlds. You're gonna absorb a little heat with it, with it being darker, of course, but you're also going to get your maximum um, heat rejection with the shade, too. And this is what we call a 5% or a limo tint, exactly. A lot of people, though, ask, you know, for a presidential. Okay. What we'll do is, um, since uh, our industry, a presidential is actually a 3%. Uh -huh. They don't actually offer a lifetime warranty because of the amount of pigment in there. What we'll do is we'll double this to kind of make it about a two to two and a half percent. Okay. Um, it's extremely light. It's extremely dark. I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of people ask me uh, when they do it, um, how can I see this and that. I strongly don't advise it. You know, but I never try to hinder a uh, customer experience from from the shop. Um, I have been told our limousine is darker than most people's limousines. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, limousine in, the, in, in our industry, I'm going to step down, in our industry gets, um, gets uh, kind of marketed anywhere from about a 3% to a 10%. Okay. okay, so some people, they'll market their, their limousine as a 10%, uh -huh. and um, it does look, you know, you can tell that it's lighter versus when you come to a shop like mine, uh -huh. where our VLT, which is visual light transmission, is about 4%. These are all your shades. You let me know what you want to do. I'd be more than happy to put any of these shades on the GTR. Window tent uh -huh. is the best window tent you experience. Uh -huh. And you, nobody, no other tent shop in the world can top that. Okay. You know what I mean? All I right. want to be the Disneyland of, of, <laughs> of win the window tent industry, you know? All right. I love Disneyland. <laughs> you have no idea. Okay, so we can do this for this one for the window. Yes, yes, we can do that for the one show. I mean, you have a low profile kind of, you know, sleek, sexy kind of windows you know what i mean so the thing that's difficult with you is your windows already come off at about a 55 to 60 percent uh -huh. because of the low light that is transmitted through it because of how sleek the windows are uh -huh. you know 35 percent probably will look like maybe around a 30 percent on the vehicle which is not bad okay. um the 20 percent might look like a 15 percent which might give it a little bit um 
might give it a little bit uh, a darker feel to the vehicle. But at the end of the day, I want you to kind of be happy. I want you to say, hey, you know what? Um, it's the shade that I want, you know? Going lighter, we can definitely add uh, on top of it, you know? And if you get the work done here, I validate the warranty. If you get it tinted somewhere else and you want me to apply it, I don't really know what kind of film they're using. We have uh, economy window films. We have, you know, state-of-the-art window films. And um, it kind of all just really depends. If you get it done here, I know what you put on it. Right. You know what I mean? And I know what I can what I can offer and validate. Okay. You know? What this mechanism does here is it actually tells me what the IR level and the B, uh, VL level is, which is visual light and infrared rejection. I'm gonna slide that in there. My infrared reject rejection. Um, the only thing that's not blocking is 32%, and the VLT is around almost 78. 78. Yeah. So it's almost, yeah. this is very close to almost 80%. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to skip to this one. This uh, my, my 50% at the moment, this is a high performance window film. Um, so this one is not going to give you too much, but it, it's a metalized window film. Okay. You know, so the metalized window film, it actually reflects the heat instead of dissipating it. Okay, so that's the difference between that one. Uh, my manufacturer doesn't have uh, the ceramic in stock right now, so this is kind of the alternative to it. Uh, a lot of the windshields don't have uh, the uh, radio frequencies or anything like that, so this is why we use this one uh, for the time being. You know, we definitely let our customers know um, that you know we don't have the ceramic in stock, but this is the next you know competitor up. Um, this one is going to reflect the heat, uh, which does uh, which does pretty much the same thing with the ceramic. Yes. Does it interfere with the cellular? No, it doesn't interfere or anything like that. More um, in the past, it has uh, depends on what kind of vehicles, like Porsches and stuff like that, where the antennas are inside the windshield embedded and whatnot. They've had had some issues with it, but you know, the industry kind of fixes the bugs and whatnot. So, and we're gonna go to this 35 percent here. It's 35 percent. You can see that it's allowing 39 percent of the IRA, and it's a 30 percent VLT. Oh, we call that 35 percent. So that's kind of our way of our own marketing, you know. And it's kind of like industry standard. This is the 20 percent. You can see this is a 37. It allows 37. Yeah, and it's actually at a 16 percent. We market it at a 20. And then our 5 percent, which is here, you can see our VLT is actually 3 percent. Yeah, so it's darker, but we market it as five and you're allowing 31% of the VLT in. So this is all of our ceramic prestige. Now we are going to uh, carry some, some higher grade ceramic in, um, but they're still kind of working out some bugs on it at the moment. So that one's gonna be about a 90% angle of rejection. As you can see, these are more of a 70% angle of rejection. Differently for window tint, of course. It's just kind of like my little secret. You know, you gotta kind of learn it on your own. You can't just throw tint on here and just yeah. be like, oh, it'll cut. Yeah. You know? So that's going to be your back window and your two quarter glass windows. You know what we're going to do? This is my GTR right here. You know? This machine is my GTR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're going to cut it right there and then we're actually going to come to this, uh, this piece of glass. We're going to wet the glass here. Let's get it nice, moist. I'm going to pull this back and you're actually going to see 
some lines. And it's very, very fine detail. You have to have very good eyesight yeah. to see the lines. Yeah. Like yeah, right exactly. Uh -huh. So that's going to be your back window. So the first uh -huh. thing that we're going to do is we're going to chop off the back window. This we're actually gonna, it, it's gonna go through kind of like a, a heat shrink or a thermal mold. Like that. Then we're actually going to, we're gonna chop here. We're gonna chop here. So pull that around like that. Then I'm gonna pass it to my associate, Alan. He's gonna grab this, he's gonna place that on the back, but I'm gonna have you guys kinda of stay tuned right here because I want you guys to check out the uh, the technology that the computer cut has to offer. So we're gonna cut around this right here, and this is kinda of gonna kind of be our template. It's gonna go back there, make a little incision, and kinda of take our finger. You can see that the plotter cuts out the shape of the window. And you know, you're gonna, you're gonna struggle a little bit from time to time, but you just pull it off. It's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. from now I have a robot sitting for me. And you can see on this one we actually kind of pulled it off around it but on the back window we're not going to. So kind of that's gonna kind of be an idea of what more or less it's gonna look like. So this stage right here is actually a what we call a heat shrink or a thermal mold. He's gonna go through it right now, and he is going to uh, mold it up for you guys. The film comes flat, so what happens is, is we need to mold it so it takes the curvature of the glass. If not, that's when you see a lot of the uh, a, a lot of the fingers that we have on here. That's what our industry calls it. It's called fingers, and um, you can kind of see this when, when you ever you see a, a, a old window film that's kind of like purple and it has these lines through it. It's because it's been improperly shrinked. And it's, the film is fighting back, or it's it's just an economic uh, economy tip. So he's gonna go through it. He's gonna smoothen it out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he's gonna go through it. And he's just gonna slowly work it, you know. So we're gonna squeeze back here. Kind of just clean it. gonna break up any of the debris, any of the hard debris. One down. Couple more to go.
Reporting live, getting my car tinted right now, as you can see. <laughs> This is uh, Wendy's GTR that we just wrapped up. We went with that 20% dark ceramic uh, all the way around on her vehicle, and we topped it off with a 70% on the front windshield. You can see here for maximum heat rejection. It's gonna keep her. Uh, it's gonna keep her leather interior cool. It's gonna keep it red. It's not gonna uh, stain it or uh, fade it to turn into pink or anything like that. And most of all, if you're an enthusiast and you know Nissans, um, you know they're notorious for uh, dash cracking. Nevertheless, to say, you know what, it may not happen in this G GTR, but I can guarantee you 15 years from now with the tint that's on it, that dash is never gonna crack with the tint that's on there. I wanted to thank um, GTR Wendy for coming out personally and coming out to the shop and you know, allowing us to actually tint her vehicle. It's her pride and joy. And you know, we see a lot of uh, people that bring their pride and joys to our shop because they know that we go the extra mile with their vehicle. And you know, they leave satisfied, happy, you know, stoked yeah. and whatnot. So. <laughs> but uh, thank yeah. you. I almost had you.